Finding acceleration with the velocity time graph is simply a matter of finding the slope of the velocity time line at the particular point you want. For example, what is the object's acceleration at D? So at D, that includes this entire line from this point right here to this point right here. And in order to find slope, we should know the coordinates of these two points. In this case, it is 30, comma, 100, and 40, comma, 300. And now we can plug it in and solve. So here's our slope equation. Y2 is 300 meters per second minus Y1, which is 100 meters per second. Divide that by X2, which is 40 seconds minus X1, which is 30 seconds. We plug that in, we find that the answer is uh, 200 meters per second divided by 10 seconds. The units do not cancel out. So when we do our math, we find out that the answer is 20 meters per second per second. In other words, every second, this object increases its speed by 20 meters per second. Now, what is the acceleration at 25 seconds? Instead of asking for a letter, they're asking for a specific time. So at 25 seconds is right here. We must go up, we find out that that is line C. So our first point of line C is right here. Our second point is already marked. So our first point is 20, comma, 150. So 100 meters per second minus our y2, 150 meters per second, divided by x2, which is 30 seconds, minus 20 seconds. In this case, we get a negative 50 meters per second, divided by 10 seconds. And our final answer is negative five meters per second per second. Put a box around our answers and we're done.